All right, I'm just gonna tell you up front that this was just supposed to be a troll video idea because I wanted to see how the spawner towers would perform in this event. Since the enemies use pathfinding to attack us from all kinds of crazy directions, I wanted to know if I could turn the tables and use the spawned units from 20 military bases and 16 golden crook bosses to push back the hordes of Mecha Ducky Doom's army. But of course, before I get started, go ahead and smash that like button if you like Bee Swarm Sim. All right, this is another game where we have to use the sniper to kill the flying ducks since neither the golden crook boss, his minions, nor the military base vehicles can attack flying enemies. Oh, that's a good idea. Let me know down in the comments if you think the military base should be able to shoot flying enemies because it kind of makes sense since the gun is on top of the tank. It's basically already in the air. Anyways, if you want to try this challenge with your friends, now you know that the golden crook boss can hold off the early waves pretty well. Here, take a gander at the stats. You're going to see that at level two, it's pretty cheap to get, costing only $1,750. And this gives you hidden detection of 4.95 damage per second and one golden crook that has even more DPS than the crook boss at 6.49. So as you can see, this tower is actually great for the event considering how weak most of the enemies are. The big bonus is that the crook minion is gonna spawn and walk out ahead of the crook boss and be able to deal a lot of damage to the enemies before they even get near our pile of bread and grapes. <laughs> By the way, I thought the spawns were hilarious. I had no idea that they actually come out of the bread. So all of a sudden, there's this little man or a giant tank just driving out of the bread like, Hello there. Speaking of the military base, I didn't think they were as valuable as the crook bosses since the crook bosses' minions would actually stop and shoot at every little ducky around them, while the military base vehicles would just keep on rolling until they disappeared into the long grass, regardless of if there were any more enemies around. This is why I focused on placing all of my crook bosses before I placed my military base bases. Now you can see from the military base stats that the max level DPS is 96.92 while the max level crook boss DPS plus one golden minion is 88.61 and the golden crook boss is so much cheaper to max than the military base costing only $12,250 compared to the military base's massive $34,200. Now of course all of this doesn't take into account the collision damage from the military base vehicles but uh, I didn't really think that mattered during this game since most of them didn't hit the pingu or the Ducky Doom directly. Now, are the supports that we use, the DJ and the Commander, gonna be valuable here? Well, they really don't have any effect at all on the military base, but they are gonna help the Crook Bosses shoot further and faster, which is gonna help us damage Mecha Ducky Doom every time he charges our bread. Unfortunately, the Crook Boss has a really small range to start with, so the DJ is really not gonna help much there either. All right, now knowing all these stats, I think it's safe to say that we're gonna be able to get to the final wave no problem, but are we gonna be able to kill the Tiny Duck inside of Ducky Doom before he takes all our bread. You're gonna have to watch to the end to find out. All right, now a shout out for my golden teammates for this game. Big RJ20054, Demon Vazzles, and Papoli100. Now go ahead and sit back, relax, grab a tiny cat, and I'll see you right back here at the end.
Oh, we almost died. I cannot believe it was a tank that takes out the Ducky Doom. What are the odds that he just happened to be walking across the path right as a tank comes rolling through? All right, this answers the age-old question. Yes, military bases and Golden Crook bosses can kill the Ducky Doom Abomination. Granted, they were super slow doing so, finishing in 23 minutes and 9 seconds. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button with your forehead, hit the subscribe button with your big toe, and turn on notifications however you can so don't miss any of my amazing upcoming content. And I will see you guys next time. Take care, be safe, and never forget what I always say. Peace!